Hello world. Welcome back. Uh, if you tuned into the previous streams here, you'll remember that we were working on this joystick. This is the previous edition. And this was okay, but there were no strain relief. So when a wire was soldered onto these three pins, as this moved around a lot, it would break off. So there needed to be something here-ish that would hold the wires tightly and prevent this from, from bending and pulling out. So this was the first version. Just trying to line these up a little bit. And this was the second version. And uh, yesterday we laid out most of these components and today's goal is to actually glue these pieces together uh, sex this up a little bit to you know smooth it out and uh, and fix the coloring and then hopefully get to printing this and ho maybe by the end of the day we'll be able to give this a trial run so um, first off I want to change this piece because it's in its current form I think it's kind of hideous um, and I'm going to do it this way. That's good enough for me. works for me and uh, it's probably a really smart way to make these like bend outward right on the first try but I don't know what it is so Sure, I like that. What? There we go. And that means there's lots of room for this to swing around and not hit anything. And it doesn't block these holes anymore. So these wires can come right through here. And I think right about here I need two more for the wires that come off the back end of this. So... this equal to this, this equal to that, and now I have two matching holes. Uh, 
so uh, I wonder if one hole was enough and this should go over the top. I don't know. I don't know. But that curve looks real nice. Real nice. Uh, what else? What next? Um, if I move up one to the wrist, it occurs to me that I could chamfer this edge and chamfer this edge. This is wasted material here. Sure. And I see I have to actually merge these two. So this part, now I finally have to break this link. Now this and this, where is this one? It's in the bodies here, right? This one, yeah. So this and this are combined. Yes, please. And now, I probably don't need to, but I'm gonna, I'm a big fan of putting fillets in corners to make them uh, safer. Uh, and this is gonna print this up this way, right? So I don't need this corner and I don't need this corner. And I can save some material there. That's a three millimeter? Okay. Mm. Good. And I can do the same thing on this uh, back on the ulna. So I have to break this link. And then I can combine this body and this body. Did it? It did. Oh, but it kept the line because the, the, the spline thing. Is there any height difference here? Oh, look how different. They're just so close. Oh. Not new body. Probably join. What? Let's go back one. And this is a separate body. Yeah. E, go up to here. Okay. And then combine. That was odd. Combine these two. Ah, oh, I see. And I bet this one and this one are slightly different. Ugh. Yeah, so. Wow. Great. So that can print without support. And now I can chamfer this. Chamfer this by three. Well, because you see, that's the same thing that I did out here. So I thought it'd be aesthetically, it would be similar. And because it's a 45 degree angle, it doesn't print with support. Is that really a 45? It doesn't look like a 45. Try that chamfer again. Equal distance. Well, okay. Now let's look at our overall shape. So then we're back into the third into the elbow and we can remove some of these. I can delete it, but I can't remove it, which is annoying because it's probably then going to say, oh, that breaks previous things, which I used to place these other objects. So they're basically stuck here invisible forever. Sweet. 
break the link on this component only, break the link on this component only. Okay, now, now I want to combine this and this. And I want to combine, hmm? Oh, the, the link is still there. I said, break the link. Shoot the glass. The selected instance has essential dependent instances. Break link currently not supported. What the? Essential dependent instances. What does that even mean? See what I did there? I had to copy that body. That is that is so friggin' dumb. Thanks, Fusion. Uh, what do you want to bet there's a difference here? Degrees. Oh. Oh, it's not quite flat. A hundred and eighty degrees. Sure, sure. It's like two millionths of a degree. It's not really, but it's a very small amount. Uh, um, um, so this is going to print this away, and there's a little arch here. It will survive. Uh, that bugs the heck out of me, that, that this is not in all the way. Um... I don't know how it moved. It must have been my bad. Because uh, I feel like you have to cut away part of this wall to get around here, right? So let's back up a step. Let's not copy this in. Uh, one more. There we go. So this and this. Uh, what is the difference between this face and uh, 3.456, 3.456. So if I move this, 3.456, and I move this, negative 3.456. Now I have to cut away a little bit. Create a sketch. Uh, yes, capture the position. Can I project this? Great. And actually I just want this to oversize. A millimeter? Uh, half a millimeter. Half a dude. Wrong one. Wait, what? Ah. So it's a little weak there. But what can you do? Uh, I can put a fillet in once I merge these two parts. Because I like me some fillets. I actually prefer champers, but uh, yeah. You know, you, you love who you love. Again, so dumb. Mm. 
might only have room for a one. Let's see what this looks like again with this in here. Um, that one fits. Does two fit? Two fits, just barely. Let's go with 1.5. Yeah, that should still fit okay. I'm a little concerned that this gets narrow. I think it's it's going to be a, a little over three millimeters, but uh, we're going to have to try it and see. So let's shave some edges here that I don't need anymore. I know I need that one. I don't need this one. I don't need this one. I don't need this one. Don't need this one. And we're doing three. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of begs the question why I've got that corner at all. Uh, so it prints which way up again? It prints this way up. That tiny corner is going to be a giant pain in the butt when it goes to print. So actually, let's not do this one or this one. Yeah, because if you make a really tiny shape, sometimes it peels off the bed early in the print job, and then you are sad. I could put another... I could put another... Okay. Okay. Hello. Okay, you're weird. Let's try that again. Chamfer. Two... Three, four, okay, thank you. Yeah, why, I don't know why you were difficult. Um, mm -mm -mm, I could put another fillet here. This is 1.5, so it matches the other guy. Yeah, yeah, okay. That only looks like it's back. It's because this other, this placeholder part is lame. Um, I see I can't hide the, mm. and I can't break this, right? Yep, cannot break it. Essential dependent instances, whatever that means. Now let's look at, oh, well, the humerus is pretty straight up. Boom. So what I will do On here, uh, height Looks good. Boom. Easy. Next. Uh, let's see if we get that essential warning again. Break this link. Boo. There's no shortcut key for combine that I'm aware of. So I want to combine this and this. 
I could probably do it in one combine move, right? Combine this with this, with this and this. Yeah. Yeah, baby, yeah. Boop, boop. Uh, how much room have I got there? Next to nothing. What's the difference between this? No, it thinks it's all one surface, but it's got a line through it. Well, all right, well. Fill it that corner. Let's see how far we can take this. I can do a one, and a one I shall have. Okay, so this is going to print this way. But again, I'm pretty sure I don't need this or this. Thank you. See, because it's cut like so. And I guess one could argue that I don't need, no, not fill it, chamfer, please. I'll just reuse the same one and add this and this. And I know the base doesn't look anything like the rest, but uh, give me a break. Making your way in the world today takes everything you got. Designing your parts in Fusion 360 sure would help a lot. If I could break the links. Do, 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 do. Uh, now let's see how she look. But if, uh, you know what I will do? I will go back to here to the standard units. And I will hide just body one. Hello. Just body one. There we go. That's what I'm wanting to see. So now I should be able to do an in canvas render. The shadows are all wrong. Close. Stop. I said set up. No, what? Stop. Because that's up. It won't let me move the root object because it is lame. And I can move everything here, probably. You know what I can do even easier than that? This is gonna be so dumb. This is stupid Fusion 360 tricks.